okay, we have on the board this integral, we have dx over cosine x minus two sine x. What I wanna do is just, I wanna solve this using wear stress substitution. I did an introduction video on this method a few days back. I'll provide a link in the description if you wanna check that one out. So let's get started with this. What we're gonna do is our substitution is gonna be t equals tan of x over two. And of course, the confusing thing about this method is we're making a substitution using something that we don't have in the integral. We don't have tangent, we don't have half angle. So it doesn't really make sense except for the fact that we've derived all these other values that we can use in our substitution that's gonna make this work. So what we can do is we can take this integral and rewrite it using what we have over here. So for cosine, for our cosine x here, we're gonna have one minus t squared over one plus t squared minus two, then we have our sine value, which is gonna be two t over one plus t squared. And then dx is gonna be we'll have two t in the numerator, and in the denominator, we're gonna have one plus t squared. And what's gonna happen now is we're gonna have this cancellation with all these terms here, the one plus t squared. And so you see what happens is we end up getting like a polynomial in the denominator, and that's always something that we can integrate. So rewriting this, we're gonna have our two dt in the numerator. We'll have our one minus t squared, uh, multiplying this in, we're gonna have minus four t. Then what I can do is factor out a minus two, the two from the numerator here, but we'll have a minus just to kind of flip the signs on our stuff in the denominator. So this will give us t squared plus four t minus one. Then I can complete the square here just using half of this middle term, which is gonna be a two, half of four is two. So we'll write this um, minus two dt, t plus two squared. And that's gonna give us an extra four. So we'll subtract off that four and we have our minus one. But minus four and minus one, we'll just rewrite that. We'll have a minus five here. But what I really want when we do the integration is we want this to be a squared term. So we'll write it as minus square root of five squared. And so now we have this in a form that we can integrate. We'll just use this formula down here at the bottom, which tells us when we have du over u squared minus a squared, we can put this in the form of hyper hyperbolic inverse tangent. And what we'll do is, so this will be like our u and this will be like our a. So we can kind of just plug in values. So we'll have our minus two in front. Then we're gonna have this minus one over a a being square root of five. Then we'll have hyperbolic inverse tangent. Um, our u is gonna be t plus two, and then our a is again square root of five. Then we're getting close. We just wanna multiply in this minus two to clean it up a little bit. And we're gonna have two over square root of five, hyperbolic inverse, um, t plus two over square root of five plus c. And for our last step, we just need to back substitute. So we have our t over here. That was our original substitution. So that's going to be our final solution right there. Yes, it's kind of a mess, but it has everything in it, and it's correct. So that's it. We'll stop it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.